Like when you're addicted to anything, say whether it's uh, drugs, alcohol, gambling, uh, looking at pornography, or maybe playing too much on like a PlayStation, right? Like it's very difficult to crack out of the habit because it becomes a thing that you use to comfort yourself, soothe yourself, distract yourself. Now when it's a particularly punitive thing, like substance misuse, where the consequences get high because it's illegal and the risk of disease is high and the risk of, cr you know, you get involved in crime, it's, uh, it's a very, what do I want to say, all-consuming thing. So, the, the, so your route out of it has to be similarly appealing, has to be very, very focused, has to be very, very well structured. I'm very impressed with what they're doing at Changes. I think what you're doing here in Birmingham is very, very innovative. The reason that I champion specifically abstinence-based recovery is that I think that anyone who's using drugs or drinking too much alcohol or engaging in any form of addiction is doing it because there is a deficit within themselves that they are trying to redress. And I think if you just give them a substitute substance like methadone or, you know, or, or any other substance that they won't address the, the motivating psychological and spiritual issues. Ultimately, these things, fear and anger, which are present in all people, not just addicts, but in the addict personality are a little more problematic have to be addressed.